Suppose I want to find the shortest route from A to G. With such a small network, it can be quite obvious that the route just goes 5, 1, 3. But this is not always obvious when the network becomes larger. Now, Dijkstra is a way of inductively finding shortest routes from A, in this case, to lots of other nodes. And eventually we happen to find the shortest route from A to G. So Dijkstra does not just find the shortest route from A to G. If you keep on going, it finds the shortest route from A to every single node in this network, as I will show you. But let's begin. These are working boxes for Dijkstra and their main use well, is twofold. One, so we know what we're doing, but also to let the examiner know that we're using Dijkstra properly. Along the way we'll use some vocabulary and this is often referred to as the working box or temporary labels. This is referred to as a permanent label as you can see. Right, we start at A. We've travelled no distance and of course we know the quickest way to get from A to A must be zero. So we can say for definite that zero is the quickest way to get to A from A. You wouldn't do a big route around and come back again. No, zero is the best way. And this is our first node that we have put a permanent label in. Remember? Temporary, permanent. And every Dijkstra starts with a 1 and a 0 to get us established. Now, all I can say to begin with is that when I sit at A, I can go to either B or C. Now, B could take 5, and to C could take 2. Now, unless there's some magical root back down there with some negative numbers, which there isn't, I can say for definite, from A to C, the best way must be 2. Looking at all the current temporary labels, of which there are 2, that's the lowest. So, to get to C must be 2. That's my second. I've made the temporary thing permanent, and that's my second one I made permanent. So, that's been done, basically. Now, with Dijkstra, what you then do is you then go, right, having made a node permanent, I consider the options out from here. Now, from 2, a 500 would be 502, or a 15 would take me to 17. So, if I went to C, I could then do that route or that route, and then I stop. Forget about all that. I then look for the next lowest temporary label. I've got a 17, a 502 and a 5. And again, unless there's some magic route which takes me negative distance back there, 5 is now the next lowest. So 5 is made permanent and that's the third node I've made permanent. I then look at what I can do from B. So once a node's been made permanent, look out at the options. 5 plus 12 is 17. 5 plus 1 is 6. Ah, the 6 beats the 17. There are no other options than I pause. And look for the next lowest temporary number in the entire diagram. 502, 6 and 17. 6 is the next lowest. So I make 6 permanent. That's the fourth node. And once you've made a node permanent, you look out at the options. We don't go back upon yourself. You look at the unfilled boxes. 6 plus 3, 
with a nine. Then look for the next permanent, so the next temporary number, the lowest one possible, 179502. Nine is the next lowest. So nine. Fifth. Ah. I've actually got to G. So it tells me that from A to G, the shortest route is 9. But I've actually achieved more than that. From A to B is 5. From A to C is 2. From A to D is 6. From A to G is 9. Now I could stop there, because I've achieved what the question wanted. We stop once we've made our destination permanent. However, I could keep on going to find the shortest route to all the nodes in the network from A. Now remember this cycle. Once made permanent, we look out at all the options. So 9, G to F, 9 plus 6, that beats that, which is 15. Or G to E, 9 plus 7, gives me a 16. I fill in the temporary ones and then pick next shortest which is the 15 make it permanent look out well there's nowhere to go now from there so I stop and then pick the next shortest temporary one in the entire network oh 16 16 and that was my seventh node I can then stop, there are no more nodes to fill in. So by continuing I found from A to G was 9 but also A to F 15, A to E 16, A to B 5 and so on and so forth. So Dijkstra finds if you keep on going the shortest route to every single node in the entire network.